what's the most common excuse that we all give for forgetting something? I don't know time. Not completing a task. I don't know time. Okay. Okay. It could be something as simple as my daughter's request of bring some stationery while coming back from office. <laughs> or a very much more dangerous close to this stop as shared by wife. Or a long term pain of if you miss out something, a very important task that you're processing. So time seems to be the culprit. Good evening, my fellow postmasters and guests for evening. Good evening. So let's start with asking this very relevant question. What is time? It's a resource. And the best part about time is it's available for everyone. Go with any class, rich, poor, young, old, it is available to all it's the same 24 hours limit. However, be mindful. Your time, my time, all our time is so time is there for everyone. However, we are here for a short span. So what do we like to do with this time? We all in unison would love to make memories from the moments of time that we have on each given day. There's no limit. We would love to have more and more and more memories fitted in the 24 hours and the months and the years to come. The day of graduation, most will not forget. The day first when the baby took the first steps, I'm not sure whether the dads were there. So, things like this. So, we'll quickly try to get this tangibilized. I have requested most of the team members to install this app called Action Dash. How many have got this? Quickly, if you open the app, the very first screen will be something like this. Daily. It would show you the amount of time you have invested in various digital activities for that day. That's like something very important in all our lives. The woman with the red phone. Mirror. So it's exactly like a mirror. And I believe this feature has been activated in the last one to two years when we started getting addicted to moments. So this helps us to get a good gauge end of the day because we can how much time we spend on what is important. Helps. So, it immediately triggered me this question. How much time do you actually work at office? Nine hours, physically present. How much time do you exactly get done on value added tasks? Tasks where it's a productivity. Three hours. Three hours. So, the two hours, 53 minutes is the time that is actually being productive. So, what is the opportunity available for all of us? Humongous. So, the, all these miss outs would effectively be taken out. So, most of the time, the guests spend mostly in offices, making ordering something when it's taking smoke breaks for 15 minutes, checking social media for 4 minutes. You check. This is true. This is real. I have practiced this to a great extent. I post my subordinate to say, but do, why don't you put a camera over my head now? That's what we tend to as a human to react. When we see that you are getting granular in terms of trying to get more out of the limited time we spend at office. And a formerly person I used to believe that nine hours should be nine hours, most should come with me. So that's where I would encourage that if you are not installed it, install it and keep it and do this on a daily basis. So this is something that we all would love to change. Formerly would like to change this. It's a win win. There's nothing. You are not sweating out, you are not really collapsed. So let's try to see what can be done about this. How about having some toilet tips that will get you to this closer to this goal? Not sufficient. <coughs> let's make it 24. Oh. <laughs> so this is the a good presentation picked up from SlideShare. Will be shared with you at the end. 24. If I cover it, I'll be thrown out and then come. <laughs> so we put a lot of painstaking effort to capture the most important six. 
if you are a great audience, you will have a seven point. And time for dessert. Be punctual. This is one of the most important quality. If you are punctual, you will give you the best possible beginning. And please be meticulous on this. And the best beginning means very likely chance of a best outcome. So, one tip I would like to share, reach the venue always 10 minutes early. Helps you, better frame of mind. Act responsibly, it's your time. What you're going to do with it is your response, isn't it? No one can make any difference on that. So take that conscious decision and if 60% of your time is within the planned activities for the day, trust me, you will smile at the end of the day. That is still a great day. Third, social media. It was a boon. Turn to slowly, turn to it. So, the one tip that I can share which will help you, freeze the time and these apps will help you to lock the app for the day. Saying you have consumed your maximum limit. So then, eat healthy. They say you are what you, are, you, you eat, right? So, food supposed to nourish you, help you perform better. The question comes is that why junk food? So, have a diet plan, strictly stick to the plan. So, for cheat days, as minimum, better for you. Because every cheat day has its own contribution. Then, exercise, how, well, how many here exercise once a week? How many exercise five times a week? Make it more often. A better body is a better engine. Lamborghini or a 15 year old Ficando? Decide for yourself. So, sleep is the easiest. The best thing and it's free. One more thing that is free. So, easy, simple, must. So, as you are a great audience, there comes a bonus, which you would love, which is take breaks. I strongly recommend it works well for me. Before your lunch break, one break. Before your, after your lunch, between the end of the day, take a small break of 10 to 10. It does wonders for you. So with that, the 24 tips are in front of you. They will be shared with your presentation. And I would like to end this with an interesting message shared by a gentleman, Harvey McKay, who wrote seven of your best, time, best selling books, of which three are number one. Time is free, but it's priceless. You can't own it, but you can use it. You can't keep it, but you can spend it. Once you've lost it, you can never get it back. Thank you very much.